hello everyone before i start let me show you something here i have got an hiroku app here let me go to the app settings uh, i have added a custom domain name here everything is working fine so this is the custom domain name and if i go to this tab it's working fine it's just the dummy application dummy site and everything seems to work well except the ssl warning you can see on the top bar so i can access it without the https but when i try to access this site with https i'm getting an error it's why because i haven't set up uh, ssl certificate for my hiroku application so if i go back to my hiroku app settings here uh, in ssl settings i can see two options to add ssl ssl certificates one by using acm so another by uploading my my own manual certificate for ssl but uh let me show you something here when i try to add the acm certificate it says that i need to be on paid plan but i'm on free plans likewise when i try to add manually also it needs me to be on the paid plan to add the manual certificate so for this i have written a very helpful guide was link will i'll be adding in the description section below for this we'll be using a service called cloudflare if you don't have a cloudflare account already just go and create one and then once you have added you'll go to the uh, dns settings uh sorry the ssl settings here i currently i have set it to flexible i'm i'll come back to this topic later uh so i'll be just showing you what we'll be doing here so you can say to flexible for now once and then next thing what we'll be also doing is we'll be adding we'll be turning on always use as a tps setting for our uh, website so before this uh if uh, as you can see that i have connected my domain name with the cname option and you can see there there's only one option called dns only so when you apply any changes when it's dns only like the https settings it won't work so it's better to turn uh, change it to the proxy settings and then only the ssl settings would work so let me go back to the ssl settings here and i have currently set it up to flexible so so f what i recommend for you is to start testing with a uh, flexible option and make sure you have turned on this always used https settings in the eighth certificate step and going back here so i have set it up to flexible now and when i try to refresh the previous error page it's uh, it's working well that i'm not getting any more error since i have set it up to flexible so let me try to show you what happens when i set it up to full so i might be getting an error here sometime it oh so as i was talking it's saying that ssl uh, error so this might be because of the miscommunication between the app and uh, the um, the cloudflare account so it's always best to test with flexible settings and you can leave it as it is when it's on flexible and you can also try to make uh, turn it to full but uh, if you get an error for a really long time it doesn't get solved then it's best to leave it uh, on the flexible mode here sometimes it might take some time to get uh, the SSL things to be sorted out automatically so you need to have some patience also so I have just changed as you saw I have just changed my SSL settings to flexible and it's taking some time to get resolved I'll try in a bit if this works yeah looks like it's working so I'll be leaving this just on the flexible option so I won't be getting an getting any error so this is all about the SSL setting with Cloudflare. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check the link that I have kept in the description section below. Have a great day. Take care.